When restoring any classic car, eventually you're going to have to restore a lot of small pieces. In order to do that, a lot of times we got to get the old paint off before we can actually start dealing with, you know, any rust or any other things we got to deal with on these small parts. So what I like to do is to actually, after I get like a good coat of paint stripper on this, I have a tendency to actually walk away and come back later and find out that now my part's covered with dried out paint stripper. Have to reapply and go through the process again. Good way around that is to drop your parts into a plastic bag. The uh, some paint strippers will eat through some plastics. Uh, if that's if your stripper you're using is real aggressive, you might want to use like an aluminum foil instead to wrap it. But if you know you have like of a medium aggressive paint stripper, you know a good Ziploc bag will do the trick. And the good part about putting your parts with the stripper inside the bag is now you, it, they don't dry out. That's the biggest thing you have to worry about, the, the, all the stripper drying out. So it won't dry out, plus an added benefit, you don't get that strong paint stripper odor in your shop for hours while you're doing this. Then after, when you're ready, it's just a matter of opening the bag, taking it out, using a coarse steel wool, help clean up your uh, all the stripper and all the paint off the product. Then you can wash it off. Usually most paint strippers you can wash with uh, water or if, you know they recommend solvents, use those. Then you'll be ready to for your next steps to prime and get this painted and back on your car.